Hi guys, I've seen a lot of chatter about this problem, so I wanted to get it started. Um, so we started with three sodas that equal 30. So if we get there, we see that most likely most of you came up with 10, 10, and 10 to get that 30. Let's move on. Next, we have a soda and two burgers equaling 20. We know that the soda is 10. We know that the rest must have to equal 20. So 10 plus 10 will give us that 20. But we know that there's two burgers. So we're going to need five and five. This leads us to a burger being five. What's next? A burger and some fries equal nine. We got the burger is five. We know that the rest has to equal nine. That's going to give us four. But this is where we had a few errors because we have two fries in each set. That really is one, 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 and one. That's where a few of you got caught up. Here's what's next. We have a burger, fries, and the soda. So we know the soda is 10. We know the burger is five. The next, we now found out that the fries are one. The burger plus the fries times the soda. But we have to remember PEMDAS or order of operations, very important. So we have multiplication in addition in our problem. Multiplication has to come first. 1 times 10 is 10. 5 plus 10 is 15. For all of these, those of you who picked 15 as your answer, congratulations. That is the final answer. If you have any more questions, I would love to hear from you. Go to themathhelperwesley.com or mathematics.com to learn more. Thank you.